Master Kazdan Paratus is dead. Then there is but one more test. I'm ready now. No. You've defeated an old man and an outcast. You must face a true Jedi Master. Who? Master Shock T, one of the last of the Jedi Council. You will need the full power of the dark side to defeat her. Yes, my master. Assassins. Darth Vader has found us. Perhaps. Maris. Gather your belongings and go into hiding, just as we've practiced. Do not return until I summon you. But Master, this is what I've been waiting for. Let me fight! No. I will lead this assassin to the Ancient Abyss alone. You are not ready to face a Sith. You would surely be killed. Maris, we are among the last of the Jedi. While we live, the Order survives. I cannot allow you to be captured or killed by the Empire. Now please, Go to the graveyard and wait for my summons. No. She hasn't been corrupted. Not yet. She's just afraid. May the Force be with you, Maris Brood. I'm tracking your location. Just ahead, you should find a hollow fungus tower. You'll need to make your way through it. Hello, it's here to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars The Force Unleashed. In the previous episode... Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> and in today's video, we get to go to this planet, Felicia! Uh, this one... It's very pretty looking, but let me just say... I'm not too fond of it because, uh, to be completely blunt, one of my first uh, movie crushes ever was Ayla Segura from the prequel trilogy. She was a super hot blue Jedi. She dies on this planet. That makes me sad. Anyway, we go over here, and ah, there's more people up there. Seem to be more organized and powerful than Imperial records would indicate. Mm, my Jedi's hand is at work. So thankfully this level isn't going to be that much of a problem compared to the previous one. So yeah, these guys are going to be a little bit, they are going to be a little bit more tricky than what we've seen before. But they're, but they're thankfully, the, the level itself thankfully isn't as obnoxious to deal with as uh, uh, Rexus Prime. So I didn't really get, this too, the, get too far into this uh, in the uh, previous videos, but Rexus Prime is honestly my least favorite level in the entire game. <laughs> It just goes on forever, and the Junk Titans, if you're not prepared for them, they were obnoxious to deal with, like we saw. And I hate the Kazdan Paratus fight, so it is definitely my least favorite level in the entire game. But that means that it's all uphill from here. There's a couple areas that coming up that I'm not too fond of either. I will say there's a couple parts in this level I'm not too fond of. But all in all, it's all uphill from here. And I love the detail of the fungus caves, the, like the mucus thingies dripping from the mushrooms. It's such a good detail. So I believe there's going to be four holocrons in the fungus tower. There's going to be one down here. There's another one over there. I think the rest of them are going to be towards the top of the area. So the nice thing about this game is that there, every now and then there are going to be rooms where, yeah, you do have to clear out every single enemy before you can progress and things like that. But there's also moments like this where you don't necessarily have to fight every single enemy. And... I feel like more beat up games like this uh, should do that um, because like as much as I love games like uh, Bayonetta or River City Girls and things like that, I will say it does get a little obnoxious c continuously going through 
rooms where you gotta clear out every single enemy and things like that, especially when there's not that much of a variety in the enemy lineup and things like that. So that can be a little bit of an access. So I do appreciate it in this area where you don't have to fight the enemies if you don't want to, but I do recommend you do it anyway, just in case, because it, it, you probably do want to level up for later parts of this game. This game can get like uh, difficulty spikes every now and then, as we saw with the Gas and Bredos fight in the previous video that we're not going to talk about anymore because I only want to talk about good things. Health Drain Aura. <laughs> but also, we didn't talk about this yet, but we have a new Force ability Force Repulse! Yeah, that is super epic! Basically, the Force Repulse is a, a super epic uh, shockwave. So, you know, shockwave and things like that, that's super awesome. It does consume a lot of your Force Power, though, so you want to watch out for that. Unstable Red Crystal. Let's check that out real quick. I don't want to do this too much for upgrading things on screen, but I really want to check this one out. I wish I gave a bit more of a preview on that screen, what the thing actually looks like. But, oh, dude, this is like Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Okay, say what you will about the, say what you will about modern Star Wars. I. I don't care what anyone says. I love the sequel trilogy. And one of my favorite details about it is the fact that Kylo Ren's lightsaber looks unstable and things like that. Because it is such a great visual storytelling. Because you have the you have like more stable lightsabers like uh, Luke and things like that. But then you got Kylo Ren's lightsaber that's like... It, it looks way more unstable because uh, Kylo Ren is still struggling with his place in the Force. It's... I love the Kylo Ren's lightsaber so much, it's so cool. Now, there are a couple of things about it I don't like, like the fact that the choreography with the lightsaber duels doesn't really take into account the fact that he has a cross guard. That kind of bothers me a couple every now and then. These aliens might be well trained, but if you could identify and eliminate the leader of each group, you might be able to demoralize the rest. What the? Where'd you come from? Huh? Huh? Um... Okay then. <laughs> that was weird. So, a strategy I recommend dealing with the Fluism soldiers, they're going to be blocking your lightsaber attacks a lot, which can make it difficult to deal with them. I recommend you stun them with the, the force... with the force lightning before you do anything else. Um, that can make it so that they won't be able to block your lightsaber and it'll be easier to deal with. This could be tricky to do. Uh, whenever uh, you're dealing with a large crowd of the enemies, but it's definitely something you want to keep in mind as you progress through Felucia. I will also say something real quick. So, as much as I love Galaxy's Edge, one thing that I do wish they did was that, like, I love the style that they have for the world. I do wish that they went a little bit more out of their way to make it look a little bit more alien. Um, because uh, the plan the Galaxy Edge takes place on Batu, it definitely shares a lot of the same archaeological style, architectural style is what I'm trying to say, as um, Tatooine, which is definitely the point because they want to look familiar, but it's a whole different planet. I do wish that it had a little bit more of an alien look to it at times, um, but at the same time, if they went for something like this, then it would also kind of look too similar to uh, like. Uh, like Pandora, the world of Avatar. Alright, now, just a bit of So, you see how awesome the. You see how awesome the. First repulse can be? Because it can definitely be great clearing away enemies if you're getting a bit overwhelmed. This is something we probably should have had, like, one level sooner, honestly. Um, the, ah, there's a Holocron in here. Um, because uh, it definitely does get overwhelming dealing with all the Junk Titans and things like that, and um, enemies like that in the previous level. So it's definitely something that's not super nice. What's also not super nice is that you guys keep blocking my attacks. Okay, where are all these guys coming from? We're like making no progress dealing with these guys. This is honestly kind of ridiculous. There were only like three a moment ago, but then there were like seven. Where, where the heck did they come from? Huh? 
Okay. I was struggling for so freaking long right there trying to get out of this area because I would just, because there would be... Okay. Moving on. Over here now. We got Holocron. It doesn't drop on the map, but we found it. Yay, that's cool and exciting and awesome and yay. I love this area so freaking much. I love it when we clear the room of enemies and there's only three of them left but then like all of a sudden seven more show up and it's like great i love when that happens i love when these guys teleport moving on over here now i'm starting to realize something about this game so i do still love this game i will say some of the combat is a little bit more frustrating than I remember it being honestly and a, a little sad to say because I do think this game still has some pretty strong combat. I will say it is a bit more frustrating than I remember it being and it's a little bit unfortunate to realize. Master, records indicate that you are approaching the site of a major conflict from the Calm Wars. Alright, so these guys are going to be a little bit more difficult to deal with. I don't think they're as annoying to, to deal with as the red flusons. Um, but uh, you you will want to watch out for them because uh, they are the only flusons who can do a projectile attack. Uh, so you want to watch out for that. We also just throw you off a cliff as well. That could work too. <laughs> Whee! So, the Rancor! Another reason why I'm happy that we were able to upgrade our lightning. Oh my god, that was fast. <laughs> that seemed un... that seemed way too quick. I don't think the other Rancors we'll be facing later are going to be that easy. But if they are, cool, I'll take it. But at the same time, okay. Yeah, there's another Holocron over here somewhere. There we go, there. And I believe that's the last one over in this area. I'm not keeping track of them, like, in my brain or anything like that. Um... There are, there are still 15 in this level, so that's pretty exciting to think about. Um, and I think the last chunk of the holocrons are going to be coming up a little bit later. It's not that important. But I remember something around about this area that's pretty funny. I don't remember exactly which spot it was at, but there's a point where I got cornered by some deflucents. And there was... I was trying to do like a lightsaber slam, but it got caught in a corner somewhere. And uh, like my character plummeted through the ground. And the camera zoomed in a little bit, but it was like a, I was, a, it's a little hard to describe, but you could see him and as he was moving around, like it looked like duplicates of him was moving around too. It was a very weird glitch and I tried replicating it before recording to uh, try to get a bit of a, try to get a sense of like, if I to get a trigger and things like that, but it didn't exactly work out the way I was hoping it would. So if we can find a video clip of it, awesome. Hopefully we can show that off at some point in the video. Um, but I'm not going to make it a priority. Just take my word for it. This game is very, very buggy.